Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Nadia, your author here to share with you this week how to format your book. I previously mentioned it slightly a little bit on another video, but I have a lot of new indie authors coming to me saying, how did you do it? How did you make this book become the book that it is today? I'm going to show you right now, step by step, how easy you can format your own manuscript. You got that good, good vibe. I want to spend some time with you. Oh, wow. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to type on our Google DIY format. Once you select it, you will find um, Derek Murphy's website, which is DIYbooksformats.com. You're going to select over there and immediately starts to you download now you're gonna download it you just have to put your email address you can do this as many times as you have to so if you set it up for one a manuscript and then you want to use the same one and then you don't want to delete the one and go back again um, you can just do this again and you will get again the templates as well Derek here it's showing you another type of courses that he offer uh, more in depth more of like marketing um, people helping you on develop like more information that more people need at the time to print a book you're gonna find it under a promotion not under primary um, just go there and you will have two type of links which is download the cover or download the book formatting I haven't used the cover I can go through it and then show it to you in another video today we're gonna go to the uh, book formatting when you select this is what it comes he give you an hour and 30 minutes tutorial step by step how to use this I'm gonna do it really quick for you but you just have to press in there and this is what you get five files with five chapters each file in it which gives you like 25 different styles that you can use for your book you will get a PDF and you will get a document um, and when you check the PDF you can choose how is it going to look this is how is it going to look for example this one that i just randomly open all the fonts and everything as you can see he gives you a first page copyright content and chapters um each chapter if you go through you are going to see in that chapter one looks one way chapter two looks in a different way but he sets up um in each chapter as well different fonts around um the chapter two this one is the one that i use for the Sustain legacy series which is my debut novels this is the one that i use but i change a lot of things chapter three looks completely different and chapter four at the end of the book about the author and you are going to have the acknowledge uh, page one page saying uh, thank you so much and i wish you all the luck here i have the document open so we're gonna start um, creating let's say a random book i have to work in somebody's book but I'm, i don't want to put it right now here so i'm just gonna create any title any subtitle that you want a book don't, doesn't have to have a subtitle it's just like if you want to uh, you put your um, author name um, you can put the publisher logo your logo i do not put it on the first page you're gonna see later on that i do double first pages because the first one i always prepare it to be like a signed copy page where you can see i'm playing around with all the you know like putting the title uh, higher and lower i'm putting um, a big space in between everything just to be the signing copy and then later on you will see uh, once I do the second uh, cover page it's absolutely different especially because I put my um, logo in it but yeah you play around a lot and then you can zoom out and see how is it gonna look um, the copyright I can say the only thing that I save over there is that the book formatting has been created by Derek Murphy which I always keep it in all the works that I do I always put that um, you have also the book and cover design by whoever has done it for you and then you just play around and then you change i will say the all rights belongs to me whatever that one you don't have to change it because it just says the typical thing that you are the owner of all the copyright that all the characters scenarios and stories are just fiction i as well remove the bottom of the page because that's a really old-fashioned thing which is about and the editions uh, before the books were separated that way and if you do traditional publishing as well is that way with editions where in the publishers we don't use that in the content page you have these three links in all of the files which if you select will bring you here which is a free website that he gives you uh, where you're going to find all the fonts that you will need 
for your manuscript to look the way how is it look on the PDF. I hope that makes sense to you. You don't have to download all of them. Once you know where this font has been used on your book, you can always um, decide which one you want. Italic, bold, regular, whatever. Um, you can do it with all of them. Obviously, I already done it with mine because I use this for my first um, novel already. And then um, you just make sure you install properly the fonts. If you don't know how to do this, I can do another quick video. You just need to message me and I will show you how to do this one. But the most important thing is like once you transfer this, you have to close all the document pages. All right. Otherwise, it's not going to work and it's not going to transfer. I didn't do it until the end of the video just because I know how to do it. But if you prefer to see it all the time, how is it going to look? Do it now. Uh, as you can see, I'm creating the second uh, page of my um, front page of my book. And the second one uh, has a little bit less space in between and will have my author logo. Obviously, I'm going to remove that name because... I already have my own name on my logo and it will not make any sense if I have two times my name on the same page, especially one on top of another. This is just me like playing around and trying to make it look better. But if you have it ready for that, you don't have to worry about all of these things. In this case, as you saw, I took um, the first uh, two, three paragraphs of chapter two. And I put it on chapter one because I like the font of chapter one. That's what I'm going to use. And then what I always do is I take, I could say like the two, third, three first paragraphs. And I just copy paste it as many times as I want. Normally when I do it for myself or I do it for some clients, I always do it 30 times. Um, I normally think that a novel um, that is between 70,000, 90,000 will not have more than 30 chapters. But if the person already sends me the manuscript and it has more chapters, obviously I create it for them. Or if they say, yes, I know 100% my book will have more than 30 chapters, I will as well create it for them. Otherwise, I believe 30 is more than enough. Um, for certain people, when I create these things, I like to add them a little bit more paragraphs just so they can see the headers and the footers because obviously uh, one of the headers will be the name of the author and another of the headers will be the name of the book and um, you might not see it you might not remember it you might not know it that that has to go there and what it can happen is that you continue writing and some of the setups has changed and you turn up to don't have uh, one of them in it and then after it's when it's a little bit um, more complicated to fix that it's not impossible it's just a little bit longer process when if you have it already prepared to whoever you give this template or if it's for yourself um, you already know that when you are writing once you get to the next page you have to have a different type of header and then the number of the pages um, should match not jumping in between as well on the top something that you have already um, set up is the first paragraph and the main body um, the only thing you have to keep in mind is the first paragraph and main body are already set it up with a font and as soon as you click them if you are editing something or you realize that that paragraph is supposed to be a first paragraph or a main body and is the opposite as soon as you press it it's gonna turn back to the main setup which was um the beginning of the process uh, fonts size and everything so i would say if you want to put any special fonts make some marks i like to put some color in a section and then i know that that section should go um, with a different font but i don't do that until i am absolutely done with the manuscript otherwise i may mess it up forget it and sometimes you just see your manuscript and you don't realize which bits should be um having as I say, a different phone and a different style. As you can see, it's really easy how to do it. Everything is just ready for you. And I just hope this video has helped you be able to set up your own book easily. If you have any questions, you can get back to me. I do this as a service as well. Um, you can contact me in any of my social media. Everything is on the description box down below. And I can help you setting up your first um, template so you can directly start writing on every chapter. Or you can always send me your manuscript and I will format it for you and send it to you ready to be published. 
Well, so that's everything for today's video. I really hope you like it. And if you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to share with other authors that are having the same questions that you. How do I transform my words into an action book? Thank you. See you next week.